Ahoy! Hey Marvin, how you doing? I see you got a new NES. Yes, I did. Oh, it looks so pretty. Don't do that again. Okay. Okay, um, well. It looks it looks really good. It works. Yes, it does. Good. Good. Isn't that delightful that it works? Yes. Okay. Uh have fun with your have fun with your games. By the way, have you got any more Nintendo games? Since you got your system. I'm surprised I'm I'm pretty well I know you pretty well. So what games have you got? Yeah, I've gotten a few. Let's go over it. Okay, let's do it. said I got a couple of new games when I got my system over the time and uh, since it's been a while since I have been online and uh, talked to you guys I'll do a a, uh, a pickup video of the newest Nintendo games that I got yeah why not I'm doing a Nintendo. I was I was doing a, a Nintendo video, so why not? First one is Airhawk. No, the first one is Airwolf. And uh, it's based on a hit TV series, I guess. That's what the cart says. Games? Okay. I mean, it's, uh, I think where it was. I think it was one that used the Zapper. I'm not sure. I kind of forgot. But, because I didn't really play it that much, and I paid about five bucks for it. I probably have a pay, but, yeah. It's totally worth five bucks. Next was a game. I got this game from, uh, let's see, a general, uh, a, uh, mom and pop shop that, uh, you know, just one of those shops that sell pretty much everything, and he had this in the back and said, if you want it, give me five bucks for it. So I did. Next, can't, one is called, uh, Kid Cool and the uh, quest for the Seven Herbs. This one, um, uh, if you have never seen the uh, Angry Video Game Nerds review of this game, go see it. I'll put a link to the that video in the description below. But this this game is fucking hard. I mean, I couldn't even beat the first stage in this game. I didn't really try, but I was just testing out, make sure the game worked. But damn, it's hard. But worth a worth two bucks. So yeah, there's another one for you. The next game I got was Werewolf. The Last Warrior. This game, I think. No, 
no way y'all didn't. I found this at a uh, flea market. And it was about three. And this one was I found at a flea market. Everyone's probably heard of this one. Techno Bowl. I am not a sports fan. But I have always heard that this is the best. This is the best sports game on the NES. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. This game sucks. Anyways. Next is uh, a game called Destination Earth Star. If I remember correctly, this is another uh, Zapper game. I think. And I don't, I don't quite remember it, but I could be wrong. But it was okay, I think. I'm not confusing it with something else. But yeah, it was, it was okay. Worth two bucks. And this one is a classic, and also another one reviewed by the Anger Video Game Nerd, which I'll put his review down there. Top Gun. Everyone has played this at least once. Shit. That's what it is. Next one is a cart that I just couldn't say no to. I grew up with the, the second one of this. And this one was, and that one was a uh, an actual released copy. This one's by Tangent, and it's Gauntlet. Very, very Gauntlet. It is a very good game. Like if you can overlook the small sprites and uh, its hardness. But, you can overlook all of that, and uh, if you are liking our RPG action adventure game, get Gauntlet. Then, I know I have, I know I've shown this before, I did a review of it, but uh, the one I got had was the one that had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Well, this is the, the original black box version of Super Mario Brothers. I'll put my uh, review of Super Mario Brothers down in the description below. But if you, uh, yeah, it's very good. Everyone knows it. It's the thing. It's the thing that got that uh, got boxed in with the system. Plus stuff that. If you got if you got that but very good sold like a million a billion copies very good and then let's see here I got I have like an, another one of these white ones but I got these two uh, NES cases I put my two favorite games in the world Star Tropics and Star Tropics 2 Zoda's Revenge in these protective blue cases, and uh, I saw them in the box, and I don't think the lady know that they cost a little. They cost a little bit, so I just put the games in it, and uh, there they are. <laughs> Funny. And then this one I got at that mom and pop shop. It was. Shadowgate. I know one of my uh, I, one of my other friends on YouTube. Well, one that once that I watch, uh, Retro Gamer Three. He did a, a, a view, review of this. I'll put his video down in the description below, and you can watch and see if you want if you would like to play, to play this game. It's a very very good game. If you're into Dungeons and Dragons, you'll like this game. And, uh, well, that's the, uh, Nintendo NES-related pickups for 
what I got. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time.